From the Standing Stone Farm Studio right outside downtown Nashville, it's time for the most ridiculous sports podcast in the world. So sit back, relax, and listen as Bobby Butler and Brandon Bond crack open a cold one and talk all things hockey, pop culture, and complain about everyday situations. It's the Pucks Out Podcast on the Penalty Box Radio Network. Welcome into the most ridiculous podcast in sports and pop culture. I'm Bobby. He's Brandon. Oh, didn't hear you there. Hey, <laughs> sorry about that. I, I hit my mute because I had to do something over here and then never unmuted. So hey, I, mean, I bet you wish you had that with me in life a lot more, though, right? Like, oh, Brandon is maybe trying to talk but no one can hear him so let's not tell him let's just let him tell the full story or get about 50 percent of the way through the story and then we'll unmute him and we'll never tell him he was muted yeah uh i first i thought something was super broke on my end so i started quickly looking at all my screens until the last thing i looked at was your you were muted my face yeah uh, me you always look at me for i should be the first look before any screen checking happens i'm usually the cause of the of the problem so uh, Glad we could solve that though, bud. We've only yeah. been doing this for 193 <laughs> right. episodes, so uh, we're figuring <laughs> we're getting it. We're getting it figured out, bud. We're getting it figured out. Yeah. <laughs> and then, literally, as that was happening, my phone started ringing. So it was just a shit show. This is hey, hey. That's the that's the way she goes, man. That's the way she goes. Now, I'm not sure I know our listeners like this cold beer, but yeah. I got I got discombobulated. Well, now it's my time. Cold beer. Yeah. Never got open, so my cold beer's yeah. now open. <laughs> I, I like how our listeners probably like they could have just restarted. They were like ten seconds. Really, in. really, no. We right. are one take. We're, we're 193 <laughs> episodes in at this point. We are. Uh, we're just yeah. Uh, they they're like they're was this a live show? No, it was not. <laughs> yeah, right. We were yeah. We were on. We were on location. We couldn't just reset. Yeah, <laughs> but Pucks Out is powered by Mayday Brew, the official beer of Pucks Out Podcast. Check them out every Tuesday. For a Singo and Thursday for a Bingo, where it's always a great time, and you'll always make a friend. How are you this week, bud? Ah, <sighs> exhausted. Ready to ready for the week to be over already. Uh, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to the weekend again. But I'm doing all right, man. Yeah. How about how about yourself, bro? Not too bad. Uh, you know, I got off for the eclipse, so that was nice. And by that, I mean nice. I did not have work today. Um, did have football practice this morning. So. <laughs> yeah, the good thing you clarified that, bud. <laughs> After that little first, like a little event, you're like, dude, I yeah, I I'm I got some pending charges based on uh me and my love for eclipses. So yeah. it doesn't happen too often, you know. So no, I, mean, I mean, it's a very uh, rare yeah. thing, dude. It's a, you know, get you yeah. get you going, dude. Yeah, the next one's not until after 2220 or something like that. So it's like 220 years away. Bah, I guess like 200 dude, years goodness. away. I couldn't have cared any less that it yeah. that it was happening. Don't don't care. Yeah, I mean, didn't go outside. Yeah, I, I either. actually got a little frustrated because everybody was outside during the time I normally go out to smoke. So I had to delay going outside. <laughs> you, you just want you didn't want to be an eclipse person, so you didn't go out and smoke during that time. It was mostly I didn't want to deal with the the, the crowds of folk. Like I wouldn't want to be I want to be out there smoking, dude. Accidentally look up, dude. I'm dead, bro. I'm yeah. blind, yeah. and I wasn't even the eclipse yeah. guy. Like now I'm blind because of it. Didn't go get didn't get to go to Sonic and get glasses. Now I'm done. Yeah, we. Luckily, you know, we got off school and everyone was uh, like, why are they make let kids off school? And I'll tell you why. At football at the end of football practice, I you know, we, I reminded some of the guys like, hey, make sure if you go out and watch the clips, put eye protection on. They're like, I mean, I can look at it for a second. I'm like, just put eye protection on. They're like, I mean, it's not that bad. I'm like, no, just put on eye protection. They're like, ah, I can sneak a peek. And it's like, this is why we can't trust you guys. This is why we can't be liable and have you guys in school because we tell you to do something. You're like, nah, like. <laughs> I did go to, I forgot to say, I did go to the uh, Nashville uh, Premier League Mornings uh, Fest on Saturday. So that was pretty fun. Nice. We're about to get to fit check, I, I'm assuming. That's why I brought it up. Got yeah. the new Everton kit on, bro. Got the Ooh. Premier League hat on. I feel like when you just buy just the straight up Premier League, you know what I feel like? I feel uh, like Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe. Yes, exactly, yeah. dude. I'm just, hey, I'm just here for 
for friend for friendship and fun and yeah. good competitiveness. Good good overall. It could also look like you're just. Uh, it could also look like you're just a big fan of MGM and the Lions. I'm a I'm a I'm a gambling <laughs> man. I'm that's not, hey I'm, I don't know who I'm cheering for until I get oh there, dude not What's MGM the is it the the, the <laughs> movie people is it, it I met at Metro Golden Meyer the movie people with the lion I think it's MGM as well I mean you know but oh, I know but they, I mean they own nowadays, the casino? I think they all oh yeah bro I think it's all I think it's all inter- if, if, n- if if they don't own the same then somebody owns both of them separately <laughs> and somebody definitely owns both for sure i had i am today is old when i realized the mgm casino is the same as the mgm movie producers which makes yeah, sense you're gonna MG, mgm is, is to, like you know this is about to blow your mind when you hear about the famous food review critics of michelin <laughs> okay dude you <laughs> michelin i do know about mind. michelin Michelin, I do know about that. <laughs> you want to know Mitsubishi also makes fighter jets. So just, I mean, there's lots of little, like, what are you guys doing, yeah. dude? Like, what was the bo- what's the board meeting? Like, what's the all hands meeting look like? You got the car guy, and then you got the, <laughs> you got, you got, you got the dirt bike guy, and he's there with the fighter jet guy, just kicking it. Yeah. <laughs> what's up uh, with your fit, bro? Right? I, th- I just went fit, through mine. Uh, yeah. I mean, nothing much, just rocking a random blue T-shirt and a Preds hat. Just kind of threw it on. Got back from practice, threw something on. Uh, so nothing special, not nearly as special as what you got going on. Oh, so special. Spent too let's, much uh, money on jump. it, obviously. <laughs> they did good. They had, a, they had a QR code to tell you how much it was if you wanted to spend your time getting your phone out and QR coding it. So I just did it. And it was, it was not like way, way pricey. But, you know, it's an authentic... EPL kit, so it was a little yeah. pricier than I had hoped. I like to think on the tag, it also says like if you're the kind of person who needs to check the price, here you go. Just I mean, a I shame was a few people beers. Be like, you know, I, I don't. <laughs> I was a few beers in, so I, you know, I can't say I was. I wasn't there with it. You know, I wasn't like ah. Phew. I've already spent this way too much money on this beer, so now money doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay, so no worries. I'm getting the kit. Uh, let's jump into the news. Everything you need to know about what's happening on the ice. It's time for news from inside the boards. We are getting close to the end of the season, and that means a whole bunch of teams have clinched the playoffs. I'm going to run through this real quick. I don't believe anybody has clinched a uh, uh what you call a division title yet? We only have playoff. No, no, it's just so, playoff spots have been. Uh, yeah. So going through the list, let's start with the Atlantic. We've got the Bruins, the Panthers, the Maple Leafs and Lightning and the Senators and the Canadians have been eliminated. Uh, that leaves the uh, Detroit and Buffalo fighting for a spot in the Metro. Uh, a lot more open. We got the Rangers and the Hurricanes have clinched and Columbus has been eliminated. That leaves the Islanders, the Penguins, the Capitals, the Flyers, and the Devils uh, to get in, which means this could be the year. Finally, Davey and I have a winner, <laughs> and we're not both you could. losers. Uh, you could. <laughs> could happen. Uh, could. In the Western Conference and the Central, we've got Dallas, Colorado, and the Jets. And the Coyotes and the Blackhawks have been eliminated, which means our Nashville Predators, the St. Louis Blues, and the Minnesota Wild are still looking for that last spot over there. And then in the Pacific, we've got the Canucks and the Oilers and the division with the most eliminated so far, the Kraken, the Flames, the Ducks, and the Sharks, leaving the uh, reigning champs, the Golden Knights, as well as the Kings left uh, looking for a spot. What are your thoughts uh, when you look at, when you hear this list? Uh, not too many surprises. Uh, you know, more so who's closer to the top of the list. I mean, Edmonton storming back after a really rough start to the beginning of the season is uh, is is pretty impressive. Um, still kind of sh- some shuffle could go on between uh, the Kings and the Golden Knights. Uh, the Blues and Wild are currently the Western Conference teams on the outside looking in with 87 and 83 points. Uh, Preds can, Preds can, can lock it up if they don't have a, have a rough, rough go of it. These next four games, um, glad the penguins are sitting out. Uh, the, that is, uh, that is, that is that, you know, that's always a, always a gift. 
Western Conference looks strong again. Uh, Vegas had a yeah. uh, hurdle come back. He's coming back, at, or not coming back. I guess he's coming back for himself, but he'll be playing for the Golden Knights for the first time. Uh, and I would imagine we would see Mark Stone, his injury probably clearing <laughs> up a bit. To where, and now, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a magical time of year. Um, the President's Cup race, still pretty, still pretty strong. The, Rangers have a good uh, have a three point lead right now over the Bruins. Looks like our Panthers they're not out of it yet completely. Getting close um, to being yeah, but they're pretty much close to being out. And I know that our uh, Oilers pick or is not going to make it. So <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, man, it's uh, it's gonna it's it's always nice to see this uh, this tight race towards the end of the season. There's still I believe five teams competing for either. Uh, a spot in their division or wild card in the east over there i think the uh the red wings islanders penguins capitals and flyers are all still uh in contention for some of those spots i don't know if i guess new jersey technically hasn't been mathematically eliminated but it's looking rougher for them as uh, as it goes along so what about what about you, man? You have any anybody that you're in particularly watching? Who do you think's getting in from the East? Um, Crosby's been kind of I mean, storming back, so we hope the Penguins don't make it in. But I mean, you know, it's Crosby, so he'll find a way. Yeah, I mean, obviously, looking at this, uh, Capitals, Penguins, Flyers, um, you know, over the next couple days, over the next week or so, is going to be interesting. Even the Islanders. Uh, I mean, only I mean. Man, yeah, Islanders are, are currently that in that I third think. spot in the, in the Metro. So, so I mean, they have a little bit of wiggle room there at 85 points. But, and then going over the West, obviously here in Nashville, I, I don't know the math. I don't think, I think it's in our own hands, but I think, you know, oh, we it's definitely in our own but, hands. We're in the one. Well, the only, well, we've got 94 points and the Kings and the Knights who both have less games played than us, uh, have 93 and 92 so i mean there's a chance i think if the, but if the but Kings we could go to out, we could go to wild card too okay, they're, well, they're that's, still that's, fighting they, they're still fighting for the third spot in their division so one of them goes to the division oh 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 yeah okay in my head yeah. i thought that third spot was already locked you up. should switch okay, you should then, switch yeah. over from the standings to the wild card to uh to expand uh, your mind a little bit yeah i mean we're not very does, smart yeah, guys bobby yeah. but <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure what that you're helps, talking yeah. about because they, yeah, because the Pacific still has one of their, one of their divisional spots. Open. Yes. So one okay. of those two I was goes looking at there, it as, yeah. whether they okay. flip or not. Uh, so I don't think I, so, I mean, it's definitely in our own hands uh, because the blues have 87 and 83 and yeah. all of the other Pacific teams are, are eliminated. So yeah. there's no possibility of them of yeah, there being another, a bit. Uh, another team. I think that either, I mean, I think that even Vegas could get could slide out, or or the Kings could slide out completely. Uh, but I think the three Las Vegas, Nashville, and uh, the Kings all are basically controlling their own destiny at this point. Uh, as are the Flyers. Uh, if they go out, you win, you're in. So four games left in the season. Uh, the Vegas has six. So uh, so I think. So this is close, man. Do you think that uh, I think that Vegas takes the third spot in that division? Uh, yeah, do you, if I you're the Oilers right now, who do you want to take that spot? Because so that's who, who you'll play. The Oilers, who do? Uh, mm, I would say anybody but Vegas. Honestly, I think Vegas is a team that can turn it on at any minute. They know how to yeah, win. Kings, have, been Kings there have given them a, I mean, a good rough rough go of it. Um, but yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I, Vegas, Vegas. So I'm not playing that reigning champ. Just uh, with it, honestly, playing Vegas scares me. And I would so I'll, they've proven that they can win on the big stage. If, Angeles, if you're the Preds, you the personally, if you're the Preds, you want to lock in that top wild card spot and play Vancouver over Dallas right now, or Colorado if Colorado slides in. But Dallas looks like they're going to be winning the uh, winning the division. Yeah. I don't know if you agree. I feel like Vancouver's younger. Playoff hockey's a little bit of a different style. Uh, a team that that makes yeah. deep runs in the playoffs tends to find a way to continue to do so. So, yeah, I think I'd rather them play Vancouver than Dallas or Colorado. 
Yeah. Elliot so, Winnipeg, uh, so, that, so really, I mean, Winnipeg. you know, whether you're in or not, you can kind of control your fate here. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, see what happens in these next couple of weeks. We got one more week of regular season of play, but it'll be done by, uh, by the, our time, our recording releases. So, um, uh, well, is that correct? We got two more weeks. We got this week that we're in. Uh, we have this week that we're in, and uh, yes, yeah, just next the week. Regular so. season concludes on April 18th, so in ten days from now is when yes. Gonna... So we will, even if we don't get to record, we will have to put our picks in. So I still have a chance. Otherwise, we might as well call me eliminated in games of the week because <laughs> we're close. Yeah. Um, let's move on. The Frozen Four starts on Thursday. Uh, we've got Denver versus Boston University and Boston College versus Michigan in the finals to be played on Saturday. Uh, I like the thought of Boston U versus Boston C, honestly, in that finals. Yeah, I, it it's so funny. And, and college hockey, dude, is it just feels like there's only like tw- 16 teams, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never <laughs> seen a Frozen Four consist of anybody other than like 16 teams. Yeah. Uh yeah, Boston College Boston U would be great. Uh, who won last year? Was it Michigan? Michigan won last year. Maybe that's that sound right. familiar to you? I'm you know I'm not a huge college hockey guy. This is when we need our correspondent Davy in so he can let us yeah. know. Uh, let's see, 2023 Division One. It was Quinnipiac <sighs> was the champion last year. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I spoke it too was, soon. Uh, the final was Minnesota versus Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac beat Michigan in the semis. Okay, so I, so I knew they were close. But all right, so let's call our shot. Uh, I'm going. I'm going Denver. Ooh. I'm going Michigan. So while you uh, put that in the dock, let's move to outside. Now that you know what's happening inside the boards, time for the rest of the headlines with news from outside the boards. All right. So the most important final championship as of recording is done. Uh, and that would be the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship, uh, which, just to talk, before we get into that game, I would like to talk about both the Iowa LSU game and then the championship game, which was the Iowa LSU game broke ESPN records for the most watched basketball game of all time. That is including NBA Finals, that is including NBA games, that's including the NCAA, uh, all NCAA that includes previous March Madness games of any kind. And then Iowa versus South Carolina, the final, broke that number. So yeah, it is it. obvious that people will, I mean, that, and it was a good game. Honestly, it was an entertaining game. Uh, so Iowa fell to South Carolina 87-75. Uh, Caitlin Clark setting more records, uh, most points in, in a career uh, turn, in, turn, in, in tournaments in her career. Uh, just absolutely insane. Uh, but man, South Carolina just absolutely a monster performance. Camilla Cardosa or Cardosa was just a beast out there. Uh, I mean, and she's just, I mean, she's going. I think she, she's uh, projected to go like in the top five or the top four. I think. Yeah, this has been this class, this draft class, I guess, recruiting class for women's college basketball was phenomenal dude it was so good there were so many good players i didn't watch the games uh but i haven't really watched a lot of the men's games once it gets past that initial stage and there's no cinderellas and i don't have a team to root yeah. for man I'll, I'll if i remember i'll f- throw it on but i don't plan my day around it really um you know i'll probably watch the game tonight a little bit and then i'll probably drift off and watch something else because you know i don't care uh Purdue and um Purdue and Purdue UConn, UConn should be a good game. Yeah. yeah. Should be I a good Purdue's game. Gonna... Should be a good battle. And I could care less about it. I don't know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't care. It doesn't matter. This Not isn't yeah. 
Yeah. Um, if, um, but if, yeah, if, if NC if, state had gone, I would definitely care. Right, dude. We'd be watching. It would be a little more, more interesting. Um, uh, yeah. Caitlin Clark absolutely dominated, uh, the tournament, uh, but South Carolina is too much an undefeated season. Uh, they got, they, they were heartbroken last year, uh, in the tournament. Yeah. So, uh, it was good to see them win. You know, they were the better basketball team. Uh, Caitlin Clark is oh, great, yeah, by far. but, um, uh, but you can only will yourself to so many, you know, will your team to so much. Uh, can we also talk real quick about what should absolutely in no world be, con- be, con- be controversial? but it seemed to be the most controversial call ever. Uh, the moving screen that was so blatantly obvious that it was a moving screen uh, that, yeah. that I mean, it was yeah. like, do you guys like people are like there it's rigged. It's what are you talking about, dude? She, like, yeah, it was not, clear as day. I wasn't even forget the fact that she did go. I, it didn't seem like it was intentional that she went like elbow into the neck. That's just how, that's how, yeah. how women go in and screen. Cause they were protecting the, you know, protecting the goods, just like we're protecting our good. Yeah. And so I'm forgetting the elbow and all that. Like you're like, you not know what a charge is like, or a screen is like, you have to be set. Like I can't just jump yeah. in front of somebody. It was just so ridiculous. Like you can't everyone make said, that call. Oh, the they lap. shouldn't make that call. Like, yeah. what are you talking it's about? Like, when they, like when, you have to make yeah. that call. Like let somebody just get open based on the fact. Cause that if you don't make that call, then them? the refs. Yeah. Yeah. Be- because if they don't make that call, then the refs are 100% affecting the outcome by blatantly right. not calling something that happened. Right, bro. The like, rules I don't know are the aware. rules until the last second. Yeah, like it, that was that was just like independent of itself. Like let's not let's not joke yeah. around. Like the fact that that girl, that poor girl, had to delete her social media because people were coming yeah. at her. Like she made the call. Like she just got the call. Like <laughs> like yeah. I'm just very confused about that whole ordeal. Um, and the thing is, there have been plenty of times in history where ticky tacky, maybe bad calls have been called that affects the outcome of a game. Sure. That's not one of them. Sure. Like there are plenty of examples you can look point to, but that's well, not. And, one and of it's them. more so. And of course, it affected the outcome of the game, but it's the foul that was well, yeah. committed by it, the, right by the yeah. play. Right, the foul yeah. that was committed by the player affected the outcome of the game. Yeah, as it should have. You know, like yeah. what the are you ref did not about? affect the outcome of the of the play. The players did by the way right. they played. It wasn't like they called something that they hadn't, you know, I guess I hadn't watched the whole game, but hands down, you're moving into somebody, you're throwing your knee out, you're throwing your elbow out to get better blocking. Well, you should be playing football. This is not, that's, you know, you're not allowed to block like that. Like you have to be set where you are and the person run into you. And so if you're moving in their way, then you've lost. So I did want to say that, but. But great, you know, it's always good for for women's uh, uh, women's basketball when the product is good. It shows and people go people support it. It's not I I do want to get get away from this women very you know, like, oh, you never watch. I watch I watch good sports. If sports are good, then I'll watch them. When when Jenny Finch and the USA softball team was absolutely slapping everybody that came that came across them dude yeah i was watching it because it's sick because it's sick i don't want to watch if it's not good good sports so this was good basketball yeah. this could lead to it's the same you know. it's the same reason why the men's tournament has such low numbers because watching zach Eady is yeah he's a great player he's not an entertaining player seeing sure. a monster of a man a seven foot four man like 350 pounds just back down the paint and do a hook shot for 40 points, 50 yeah. points is not entertaining and guess, basketball. And guess what? He should absolutely back down the paint and get a hook shot for 60 yeah. points no one's saying every he single time. Yeah. But it doesn't lead to entertainment for me to want to watch it. It's not, you know, yeah. and go trains, baby. You know, go trains. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I've been, I've been up to Purdue. It was a fun time. So, well, you know, yeah. we'll see. But it's not fun. It's not super fun basketball. Yeah. Uh. What are the Bills doing? Stephon Diggs is headed to Houston. Uh, let me see if I have the acquired the fourth uh, for draft pick compensation as well as some. Uh, he, he, I mean, they got a lot. I believe a second. Uh, but yeah, so they. 
I don't really know what their what their plan is here. This is a team that I that many believed are still well within their window for a Super Bowl. And I think this might change the outlook of this team. Well, maybe unless until you start looking at what Stefan Diggs towards the back end of last season, uh, he wasn't helpful at all. And if he's kind of a diva, I don't hate it. It just depends on what they do after the fact. Uh, Josh Allen's that guy that can get you get you over the hump. Do you make a splash in the draft? Do you acquire some other guy? Uh, so I don't disagree that it's hey. You know, they got to, you got to put up or shut up. Uh, and I think Stefan Diggs, when he arrives somewhere, he does great. So I don't, di- I don't hate the move for Houston. I think he'll do fine until he's mad about something else in a year or two. Um, but no, I, I agree that the Bills got to make a move here. Uh, maybe some guy, somebody like Lad McConkey towards the end. Uh, somebody's got to come in and make a difference because this is a deep receiver draft. But if you miss, then you've got a not super deep room there with Gabe Davis leaving, um, obviously Diggs, Diggs going out. So I'll be intrigued. I'm, I'm kind of with you. I'm kind of intrigued to see what they're going to do. Uh, as a dynasty owner of, of Josh Allen, I think probably run him. Probably run him a little bit more is what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's probably what I'm thinking. Uh you know, maybe yeah. 200, 300 yards a game. I'm in. You know who's the uh, who suffers the most this offseason, though? Tennessee Titans uh, are in a tough spot. After Gabe Davis is heading to Jacksonville, you've got Stephon Diggs now in a team with uh, the Offensive Rookie of the Year, C.J. Stroud, and now they, and they have Joe Mixon in that backfield. I think the Titans uh, are looking at bottom of a division year. If, unless yeah. they make some big changes, they could unless unless Levis takes that step, which you know you know my feelings. I don't know that that's going to be the case. I mean, yeah, they they're spending a lot of money. They're 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 at least trying to move it in the right direction. So we'll see. But I'm with you, man. I mean, unless Callahan can come in and bring something super dynamic, that's you know kind of kind of wins early i think he needs to win early really uh, he needs to yeah. win early he's not going to be able to come back from this but it, it's probably going to be at a two to two to three year process so uh titans in trouble uh anthony richardson if he's back for the colts the titans could be in trouble if trevor lawrence finds out his potential he could be in trouble i'm not too worried about the gabe <laughs> davis move but um but if trevor lawrence uh really ever lives up to what he was supposed to be uh yeah, yeah they could Which be i still trouble. think he will i still really like him i like I, I think that raw talent's there he just needs to be he needs to be given some weapons he needs to be coached a little bit he's uh, had he he, he's had some weapons league. he's had some weapons yeah we'll see we'll see hey i'm yeah. you know i'm not rooting for the guy so <laughs> you know <laughs> i don't know what you want from me bobby i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm raining yeah. on his parade i'm gonna do that <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. So our main topic uh, was going to be the uh, final two weeks, but we already talked about that. Yeah. Uh, so why don't we ha- head straight into games of the week? Games of the week. Bobby and Brandon do the work so you don't have to. The best from around the NHL and what to watch. Alrighty, so uh, I went one and uh, uh, one and two last week. You went two and one, making it even closer. We are just making this entertaining. I mean, it's in down at the very thing. end. Uh, we have, I believe, two weeks left, so uh, we have six games. So this is still very much, I mean, uh, well within grasp. This could be a you know, you win three weeks. Depending on how this week goes, you win three weeks. That you win three, you clinch it. It's over. But you just, still, this could come down to the wire. Come down I mean, to the wire. Yeah, I'm, we wouldn't I'm, have I'm it any other way. Yeah, so I'm sitting at 28 and 18. Bond is sitting at 24 and 22. Uh, I'll start us off. Game number one for me on Friday. It is a Friday game. It is a rivalry game. It is a game that Nashville needs if they want to uh, get a good spot in the playoffs. 
and no better way to start off a nice run to end the last, what, six games, four games of the season, and that is Chicago. I think Nashville goes in there. I think they get the job done. Easy peasy. I mean, I think it's going to be like a 4-0 game, and, I, you know, I think they're just going to get the job done. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the other Western wildcard team. Wild playing the Golden Knights. I think the Golden Knights push uh, themselves further. This is 412 at 9 p.m. I'm going to go with the Golden Knights. Then I think I'm actually uh, next. Uh, yeah. I have the yep. Red uh, on Saturday. I went with the Red Wings, Maple Leafs. Red Wings fighting for a spot, battling. I'm going to go with the Leafs on this one. 413 at 6 p.m. Okay. Maple Leafs going to going to push the Red Wings out. Uh let's see. My second game it is a game that I think uh is going to be very I think it's the best game of the day personally. I've got Boston at Pittsburgh. Um listen, I'm not taking the easy way out. I'm not picking, you know, I'm no. not trying to just walk into the sunset. I'm picking we games both, that I think we are going to be entertaining. We both took one Blackhawks game, but then everybody else yeah. <laughs> on this board, everybody else on this yeah. board is a playoff team or a uh, potential playoff team. So, but hey, let's be honest here. The Blackhawks have it's not like they've won no games this year. So they they could win either of these games. Uh, so it's not just easy, you sure, know. There, sure. There's a reason we play the. There's a reason we play it. Um, the reason they play. I got game. Boston at Pittsburgh. Uh, I think Boston goes into Pittsburgh. I think they get the job done. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm running the watch. on this. But yeah, I think Boston goes in, and I think it really kind of starts to tilt that division a little bit. Okay. Uh, then I think it's you again, sir. Yeah. Last game, I've also got Vegas. Uh, and I've also got them winning at home against Colorado. Uh, Colorado is already clinched. I don't think they're really in a position for a President's Cup. Uh, they're also I, they're pretty solid. I think they're okay with wherever they place. Whether it's I think they're I think Colorado is comfortable playing anybody. So I don't think they're really making a push per se. Whereas Vegas uh, absolutely is. So I okay. think Vegas takes care of business at home against Colorado. All right. Uh, and then my final game of the day, I have the Hurricanes playing the Blackhawks uh, the, on Sunday at 5 p.m. That's 4.14. I'm going to go with the Hurricanes. I think they uh, they sure their spot up a little bit uh, and uh, take out the Blackhawks. And phew, come on, boys. I need I need a 3-0 week, and I need an, I need – oh, it's tough to root against. Uh, I, I don't want to root for an 0-3 week for you. <laughs> Because you've picked Nashville here, and <laughs> loyalties are kind of on the line. So uh, you can for I, a I one and three, you. and that's a one and two, and that you know that helps. I you. can afford a one and two. Uh, I will take a one and two if I can get a three and zero. Oh, that'll put us at twenty seven. I'd be put me two games out, and then I need a two one week yeah. versus your one two week. So it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough go. So if yeah. I do get an zero oh and three, okay, okay, I'm gonna settle. Yeah, and even more interesting, if we both go zero and three, I think I, no, I don't. Clinch. I think maybe mathematically, I still win. I clinch. You win. We yeah, I mean, uh, I have. Uh, it's a six game, six games left in our season. I'm four games behind, so I only have two games wiggle room. You win two here. You are guaranteed. We're guaranteed to tie. So yeah. you win three, it's over. If I go, if I lose three, it's over. So. Let's move into joke of the week and good luck to you, bud. The weird Corey Perry. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't... Wild. I think that I think the first read was a good one. Now, now I'm overthinking it. Outlandish. Each sixth chick sat on a stick. A little tongue twister. And downright dumb. You're kidding me. It's time for the joke of the week. <laughs> So a lot has changed uh, in the music industry in the past 20, 25 years, but uh, rappers have gone soft. J. Cole says he regrets Kendrick Lamar diss. The past two days has felt terrible, according to him. And just so that you're clear, Kendrick Lamar shot, shot, uh, shot first and J. Cole responded. And now J. Cole is apologizing for the diss track. I mean... This is this is sad to see. I remember there was a time when you would. I remember a time when rappers were getting shot by each other. Right. Well, no Diddy. 
<laughs> we gotta <laughs> chill out, dude. That's hey, we gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, it's weak. It's it's pretty weak. Like honestly, I you know I always figured it was manufactured in the background because you know beefs sell albums, right? Like oh, I gotta yeah. go see. Maybe he died. Maybe he said something about him. It's a little weak, dude. It's a little weak. Uh. You know, I knew I, I've known that the 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 battle was going on, but I don't, you know, I don't mess with with hip hop like that, so I don't really know. I just know, oh, this is that diss song, and so I don't really analyze the uh, the disses. I would have they could have played the song hundred times, probably would have never known because I'm not a huge Kendrick Lamar, J Cole fan, what you know, whatever. So, um, I, you know. What a joke, bud. Come on. You guys are rappers, dude. Yeah. Like, you gotta talk about yeah. guns. You gotta talk about, you know, using guns. <laughs> so, like, I'm not asking you to use guns, but, like, you know, just, you don't have to, like, come out and be like, so, so super sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to, yeah. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Like, uh, I yeah. didn't, you know, I don't imagine, know. What a joke. <laughs> imagine if, like, he got into a rap battle with, like, 50 Cent and he apologized to 50 Cent. You think 50, 50 Cent would just be like, oh, be man, it's all good. None oh. of it. Oh my god, he would it. tear him to pieces. <laughs> oh, but all right, let's move into what's snapping your stick. Bobby and Brandon are about to find out exactly what snaps their sticks. All right, so I teased this last time, and I follow up my word, and I understand it might be a hot take, um, but that's I'm going to be talking about doctors now. Th- I'm not Alex. This is not an Alex Jones bit. I'm not going to say, "Oh, doctors are turning the frogs gay." I'm not going after medical doctors. Well, you In just, fact, I'm, you just I, did say it. Though. <laughs> I do want to highlight to everybody well, I, listening. <laughs> you just said it. I'm not going to say this and then said thing. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> I'm not going to say it twice. Uh, Fair enough. But, Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, if you're a doctor of psychology or a doctor of history or a doctor of mathematics, if you have a PhD in something that's not medicine, that's cool. I'm very, I think that you, that's great that it's hard work. And when you're in your workplace, where if you're in a psychology office or if you're in a um, math building or if you're in a library that deals with that, cool, you can be called doctor. But when you're out in public, don't you fucking dare say that you're a doctor. The only the only people who should say they're doctors outside in everyday life are if is if you can say on if, if you're on a plane and someone says, Do we have a doctor on board? And you can help save that person. If someone is on a plane and says, Is there a doctor on board? And a, a dude who has a PhD in World War II history stands up and says, Why, yes, you do have there is a doctor on board. Like, no, you're not gonna help. Right. Like, so that's why, like, yeah, only unless you're in, for example, I have coworkers who have doctorates. And we are actively working in that field, so I call them doctor because that is appropriate for the situation. If we're going out to a bar, I'm not going to call them doctor. I want to highlight. Like, I want to highlight. I think, and I want to. I, I don't know that you're trying to say this, but I think what you mean is them just correcting you, like somebody. Like if you're like, "Oh, hey, miss, whatever," and they're like, "Doctor," are you just saying, "Not at all"? You're not allowed to tell people you have a doctorate. I doc, you know, I, I'm just wanting to. Clarify I mean, you, listen, what you're you can tell you you can tell anyone you have a doctorate, but you make you hey, you better make damn sure you tell them what the doctorate is in it because I I sure, okay. one, there there is We're a there, clear. there is what a big difference saying, between saying I have a PhD and I have no some I have know some people who have like a doctor in bullshit say oh I'm a doctor like mm, let's back up a second right I let's, have a doctorate uh, big, I think that we need to yes. I think we need to give a yeah. you know we need to give a little clarifier for sure. For sure, because yeah. there is different just, levels. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I just want to be clear that, like, you know, people are allowed. It's it's, a, it's still an amazing achievement, and they should be able to tell people. But what? Yes, you're, they I, can tell I, people. I just yeah. But what? I, but yeah, it, what it sounds like I, I want to clear up is that yeah, like it's like if I call you uh, something and you're and you hit me with a, it's doctor. And it's and like it's and it's not though, but it's not, <laughs> you know. I you yeah, know, like you saying, I'm I don't work it. I'm not a I don't work for you. You're just a superintendent to me. Like I, you know, I don't know. 
I don't know. I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I so don't... And a great example. And uh, uh, well, I was going to say, I know this person doesn't listen to this, so that's why I can talk to this. But we have a family member who is married to someone who has a doctorate in massage therapy. And it's they just get they they they're a masseuse. They're just a a masseuse with a lot of uh, uh, college loans. And when we were sending out wedding invites, we got a thing back that says, uh, actually, no, it needs to say doctor. Well, it's, and he it's not and he gonna. wants us to call him doctor all the time. And so we have now just called it calling him Doctor Asshole. That's his new name, Doctor Asshole. He wants to be a doctor so goddamn bad. Now the whole family just calls him Doctor Asshole because yeah, every time we talk you. to him, he doesn't he he doesn't even want us calling by his first name. He's like, "Ooh, can you call me Doctor So and So?" And it's like, "No, no, man, we're <laughs> just like drinking beers." No, I'm like, not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that uh, at all. Like, you, <laughs> no, no. Uh, and, and then he tries to say that he tries to say that massage therapy is a medic is a type of medicine. So he's the same as a surgeon. I was like, "Whoa, right. buddy, uh, that's cool." <laughs> like, well, that's cool. But if I'm drinking beer with a surgeon, I'm not calling him doctor either. Like, unless it's yeah, unless no. he's earned unless he's earned some cool doctor nickname that like usually yeah. cool doctors will earn. But like, yeah. where this is informal. Like, I thought we were having Miller Lights, dude. Like, nah, I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know I was about to be, like, quizzed on etiquette, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, like, the more the more you want me to call, like, and the more it annoys you that I don't call you doctor, you better believe, dude. I'm going to find whatever it is that you're the opposite, that you think the, is the opposite of doctor, and I'm probably going to start calling you, like, that. Like, chill out, nurse. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it would be yeah. that would, like, <laughs> grind his gears a little bit. Yeah. Like, grow up, dude. Who cares? You know, there were there was a time that in the world where if, you know, if we decided you didn't get to eat, you wouldn't have, dude. So st- chill out over there, buddy, <laughs> with all your with all your with all your touching people degrees, bro. That's what you got. Yeah. That's what you got. You got a degree <laughs> in knowing how to touch people real good. And that's weak, dude. That's yeah. weak. We all we all thinking it. We're I'm, all thinking yeah. it. Yeah. I have a I have a leg leg mas- uh, massage machine, which is pretty much what he like. This thing is just as good. This as This is you. it. <laughs> yeah, like there there are there yeah. are there are people in the mall, dude, that you can go sit in a chair guarantee not not all schooled up like you and yeah. they're do they do fine so i'm with i'm with you uh i don't have a specific snaps my stick um we didn't have it we we missed last week so we didn't do a what are you binging so my snaps my stick w- is going to be uh that there's not more episodes of masters of the air uh because it was absolutely freaking sick what is that uh it's the uh it's the air force uh kind of version of the Pacific and Band of Brothers. It's on Apple Ooh. TV. Tom Hanks, okay. Steven Spielberg, and the boys. Austin Butler plays uh, okay. plays a pilot. It's, it's freaking sick, dude. Callum so. Turner. I like that. Barry Cogan. Nice. This has a lot of good people in it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's I super good. Super watch, good I'm gonna watch so. this. You should definitely watch it, and I then like maybe it. we'll talk about it because it is a. Yeah. Have you watched is, uh Have you watched X Men '97 yet? I have not. I have not. I've, Ooh, I've been, it's I've so been really, good. Stephanie and I have been watching the uh, the Daredevil verse. So you know we've been watching watching nice. a lot of that, and then doing some Survivor. Uh, but you know maybe I never watched the original. So like I, you know, yeah, yeah. you should you should watch the original and then start watching this. It's very it's very good uh, okay. Marvel stuff. Okay, okay, but, okay. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you all again next week when we. Uh, we'll pr- get in close to the end of the hockey season and the final week, perhaps of well, definitely the final week, but we'll see or, whether or not it matters of games of the week uh, for the Pucks Out podcast and for, for Brandon, I'm Bobby, and we'll see you all again next time. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Pucks Out Podcast. To see what other ridiculousness the guys are up to, check them out on Twitter and Instagram at Pucks Out Pod.